What's up YouTube? In today's video, I'm going to be taking a look at this mini PC. This is the Dell Optiplex 5060 Micro. I picked it up on eBay for just under 90 bucks. It came with 8 gigs of RAM and no hard drive. This PC should be great for uh, regular home office use like email, web browsing, Zoom calls, um, some light gaming, and I think it'll do really well with emulation. I've looked at other mini PCs in past videos, but most of those were 4th gen chips, 5th gen, 7th gen chips. This one here has an 8th gen i5. It's got 6 cores and 6 threads, whereas the other chips I've tested had 4 cores and 4 threads. There are a few upgrades I'm going to want to do to this unit. Since it didn't come with the hard drive, I will have to add one. I had a 256 gig M.2 already lying around. And if I want to do any type of gaming, I'm going to need dual channel memory. So I picked up this additional eight gigs of RAM, bringing it to a total of 16 gigs of RAM. I'm also going to add this 500 gig SSD for additional storage for games. And here's a look at the inside of the PC before I do those upgrades. Okay, so I added in that extra RAM, and now I'm going to add in that M.2 NVMe hard drive right here. There we go. And finally, I'm going to add this SATA SSD. And that's how it looks with everything added in. I'm going to go ahead and put the top back on. And then I'm going to check some overall performance, try some light games, and then try some emulation. Okay, so I booted up into Windows, and you see there I got that i5-8500T. I got 16 gigs of RAM, and got the integrated Intel graphics, and I got my SSDs ready to go. And first thing I'm going to do is run a Geekbench 6 test. And for the single core score, I got 1239. For the multi-core score, I got 4455. Now I'm going to test some video playback on YouTube. This is at 1080p. And as you can see, I'm not getting any dropped frames here. And now I'm going to switch it over to uh, 4K. Even though I'm using a 1080p display, I switched it to 4K and I only got one dropped frame. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and try some games. This PC should be good for Minecraft and Roblox. I am going to try Fortnite and a few other games as well, just out of curiosity. Here it is running Minecraft, and I didn't change any settings. I just started up the game, and I'm getting 60 frames per second. And, you know, this, is, this works well for me. And yeah, as expected, Roblox is totally fine. Now for something a little more demanding, here's Fortnite. I'm going to try performance mode at 720p.
And as you can see with Fortnite, the FPS isn't consistent at all. Sometimes it's in the 40s, sometimes 50s, sometimes 60s. But keep in mind, this mini PC is not really made for gaming. Just out of curiosity, I switched it to medium settings, 1080p, and I couldn't even get uh, 20 FPS. Okay, here's Street Fighter V, uh, 1080p custom settings, and you can see it's in slow motion basically. I couldn't get MSI Afterburner to work with this game for some reason. And then I changed it to 720p, low settings, and it's playable, but um, it just doesn't look good at all. And here is CSGO 2. Again, I couldn't get MSI Afterburner to work with this game for some reason. And here's Dirt 4 on low settings. I actually thought it would do a little bit better than this. I thought I'd be able to hit 30 FPS, but it's not quite there. And here's Forza Horizon 5 with Xbox Game Pass Cloud Streaming. Now let's try some emulation with Barracera. This is what I think this mini PC would be perfect for. For God of War Chains of Olympus, I changed the resolution to 3x. And this is one of my favorites. This is Star Wars Trilogy Arcade on Sega Model 3.
And here is the Yuzu emulator. A little sluggish at times, but still playable. I only have a couple of PS3 games, but I'm going to go ahead and try one out. One, fight! I even tried some 1080p video editing using CapCut, and it worked well. If you're editing some simple home videos, you're good to go with this. Okay, so let's review. Work stuff, email, creating docs, Zoom calls, you're good to go with this mini PC. YouTube, Netflix, streaming services, you're good. PC gaming. I was hoping for better performance, but light gaming is good. Minecraft and Roblox are good. Fortnite is okay. Not going to be the best gaming experience, but you can get by. If you want me to try any other PC games on this, let me know in the comments below. For emulation, this is great. I was surprised that PS3 game I tried worked. Although I'm sure all PS3 games won't fully run. And you could see from you know the Yuzu game I ran, uh, it ran okay. Uh, it felt a little slow or sluggish sometimes. Uh, I might do a full emulation video down the line. Overall, the price for the price this mini PC is great in my opinion. If you want me to try anything else with this mini PC, let me know in the comments section. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please hit that like and subscribe button. I would appreciate it. Have a good one.